Let's start from the very, very beginning. What is burnishing? Okay, well, burnishing is a cold working process um, designed for, for improving surface finish, um, improving size, increasing hardness and improving fatigue life. So there are your four primary benefits of, roll, of burnishing. So let's start with surface finish. Yes. How do you achieve a better surface finish with burnishing? Okay, well what burnishing does, Geo, it, it, uh, it takes a, a machine surface, so you've got a peak to valley of a machine surface and it pushes those peaks into the valleys um, by stressing the material beyond its yield. So effectively, you're just cold rolling, uh, rolling the surface. And what kind of surface finish can you expect to achieve? Um, better than 0.4 RA. We can get sub 0.1, but certainly if you've got a drawing that states 0.4 RA or better, you'd be looking this at This is burnishing. grinding tolerance. Exactly, yeah. 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 So surface finish, number one. Yeah. Secondly, you stated that you get hardness benefits yeah. um, and also the tolerancing, the size. size so yeah. let's, actually, let's start with size then. Yeah. So size, how do you achieve? What kind of size uh, can you achieve? Okay. What, what kind of tolerances do you need to leave on the part before you use your burnishing? Yeah, tool? your size change, it does depend on, your, on the surface finish you've got beforehand, but typically on a, machine, on, a, on a typical machine surface, you'll get between five and 10 micron size change. So it allows you to control the size a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Than so that's really thing. important really, Neil, because you know, if you were, didn't have your burnishing tool to achieve a stable process, you know, it, it could be quite difficult, couldn't it? You know, you know, your insert could go or whatever. You right, yeah. get, so with the burnishing tool, you're you're getting your size and surface finish in a stable it's process. It. Correct. Yeah, you could you could put a, a, an insert into a, a boring bar, or you could put an insert into a turning tool, and you can you could achieve 0.4 RA. But how? How long are you going to achieve that 0.4 RA for? As soon as the insert, insert starts to wear, you lose that surface finish and you're fighting to get surface finish. The amount of customers I go to will say, I've been trying for days to get this surface finish. I'll put a burnishing tool in there and we'll hit it straight away. Now, that is, that's a, a really big point, I believe. Now, hardness. Now, this is something that I was unaware of. Yeah. How does it increase the hardness? Well, because you're, you're cold rolling the material, you're actually pushing the material, uh, you're compressing the surface of the material, so you get an increase in hardness. And along with that, you get the improvement in, in fatigue life. So your hardness increase will be up to around about 10%, but your increase in fatigue life is up to 300%. Wow, 300%. Yep. So fatigue life, explain this. So your component effectively in its working condition or working environment is going to last longer. Three times longer, yeah. Well, that's massive, isn't it? Yeah. So again, you know, if, if you didn't have these tools available, how would people be achieving the surface finish, achieving the size with the surface finish yeah. and the hardness and the fatigue that you've mentioned? These are big statements that you're making here. Yeah, I mean, to achieve a surface finish, um, you could polish, you could hone, you could lap, you could grind. Um, polishing, putting a hand into a machine, you can't do that anymore. The machine's turning, you can't, you can't have an operator putting his hand into the machine. Um, and honing, lapping and grinding, you've got to take that off the machine and put it on a different machine. So it's all been done on, on, one, on the same machine that you've produced a part of. So effectively, to, to achieve what you, you're saying you can achieve with your burnishing tools, yep. you would need another operation, different equipment, different skilled operators. So with our burnishing tools, you can do it on on the same on your machine, machine yeah. on the all in one. Yeah. So not only will you benefit and get these benefits from burnishing, you're also going to be get getting, I would imagine, an absolute immediate return of investment. Yeah, correct. So let's move on to the machines. So what machines can this be done on? So if I was a subcontractor and I had a lathe, a mill, a horizontal, yep. what machines can these be utilised on? Any, any machine, um, to be honest, anything, yeah. You say a lathe, a mill, um, we, we, do tools, we do tools for, um, for outside diameters, we do tools for bores, we do tools for faces. So you pretty much do it on any machine. And any, any application where you see that you've got a point four or better, RA surface finish, chances are we've got a burnishing tool that can do it. I mean, it wasn't that long ago when I was on the shop floor, about <laughs> 10 years ago, um, and I wish I knew about these tools back then because I was always chasing surface finish yep. and 
if I couldn't achieve it on, on the lathe or the mill, it would have to go to the grinding section yeah. where I work. So yeah. I think that these products really are fantastic. You've got some new innovations as well that we'll be doing separate corners, uh, technical corners yeah. on. Uh, but Neil, in a few words, if you had to get a big message across about burnishing to people that are unfamiliar with it, because we're not doing this technical corner to people that are familiar with it, Correct. it's all about the people that, that are unfamiliar. Familiar. What yeah. would that message be? Well, basically, if you've got a surface finish, 0.4 RA or better, um, you're fighting to get that and you're fighting for size, come to us for burnishing because we've got a tool for the job. Cheers, Neil. Thank you.